Hi everyone, it's Simon Keeling here at sailingweather.co.uk, the sailing weather information service and weatherweb.net. Thanks again for watching. It is Thursday the 22nd of May and we're rapidly approaching the bank holiday weekend and which week so many of you no doubt want to get out there and get some sailing done. Um, just a couple of uh, new things to point out to you, first of all, that have appeared on the uh, sailingweather.co.uk site this week. Um, down the left hand side here you'll notice we now have an option for emailed forecasts if you click on that that gives you the option to buy personalized weather forecasts these are forecasts written specifically for you for your voyage uh, for your vessel by our forecasters here at sailingweather.co.uk all you do is click on the buy now button and uh, it takes you through to a secure page where uh, you can book your forecast you give us all the information that you need for your forecast and uh, when you're going to leave when you're going to arrive what your planned voyage is any questions that you've got and we write a forecast that is specifically for you so just click on email forecast down the left hand side you can do that for the UK for the Atlantic for anywhere in the world and uh, we'll get forecasts written for you also, if you're using your mobile telephone, if you use uh, weatherweb.net and you're using your mobile, you'll automatically get taken to our mobile website. Now, down the left-hand side here, you'll see one of the options is sailing. Click on to sailing, and we've added on there the shipping forecast. So if you click on the shipping forecast, you get your areas down here. Select the area that you'd like, click on it, and you get an instant shipping forecast, the very latest forecast uh, on that page. It's just in basic text format, so it means it loads rapidly. So hopefully those will be useful for you. Okay, on to the forecast, and this is the chart for Friday. You see low pressure there centered in the Western Atlantic. This is gonna be causing some problems through Friday in terms of visibility for the Western Atlantic. Also notice as well how close together the ice bars are down this Western side of the country. So it is going to be pretty breezy in the west and we need to watch these little areas of low pressure because as they spin up through the weekend close to the lows themselves we could find regions of strong wind. So just watch that on the uh, shipping and initial waters forecast through this weekend. But for uh, the channel we're going to be looking in the eastern channel at least at the winds coming in from a southeasterly direction probably here blowing at around force 4. I think cyclonic as you get further west because of that low but in the far western channel we're going into a northwesterly here at a six and I do think that we need to watch for the possibility of a seven around the southern side of this low so just be aware of that one through the Irish Sea we're going into a north northeasterly blowing here at around uh, a five and just be aware that could be up to a six western Scotland northerly is here at around uh, five as well whilst down the eastern coast of England we're quite variable mainly coming in as an easterly at around a force three here just be aware as I say of those strong winds on the western and southern side of the low and of visibility in those areas potentially being moderate or poor so uh, that's the uh, start to the bank holiday weekend i know it could be a bit better couldn't it but on to saturday low pressure drifting its way northwards across central parts of the country during the course of uh, of saturday and uh, what this does is it uh, drifts northwards it puts stronger winds to the north and to the south of that low now through the channel troughs will be rotating around the low bringing some heavy showers They'll I'll bring us into a mainly west southwesterly flow here at a six but just be aware of those gusts that could accompany that trough we could be looking at a seven for the west i think we're going to be looking at a west northwesterly at a six these are messy sixes at times they're going to be dropping less than that but generally the six seems to cover it quite well through the irish sea we're generally northerlies here at around a six but i'm not going to rule out the possibility completely you know of getting a seven potentially in there at times and for the for the western parts of scotland a west northwesterly here blowing at a six too but watch out for the potential for sevens across the far north of scotland there eastern parts of scotland um i think here we're going to be looking at oh, sorry my lines have gone astray westerlies here probably blowing at around a six or a seven and for eastern england again it's a six or a seven coming in from a southeasterly direction more down towards the five or the six but that seven is a distinct possibility and notice too if you will the uh, rain surrounding this low bringing moderate or poor visibility at times within that area Okay, on to uh, Sunday and low pressure in the north in the Irish Sea on Sunday. 
bit of hit and miss as to exactly where this is. This is one of these little O's, as I say, you need to watch. Generally, I think what it will be doing is bringing us a west to southwesterly flow through the channel at around a four, possibly lighter further east. Moderate or poor visibility at times in the channel because of fog patches, particularly in the east, and some heavy showers out to the west. Through the Irish Sea, we're variable here. I'm going to say a four but two or three is close to the low, but four surrounding it. And then to the north of this, for Scotland, we're looking at a west-northwesterly at a six. Six probably overdoes it a bit for western Scotland, but I'm trying to cover my bases here. Uh, northern parts of Scotland, five or six is eastern coasts of Scotland, probably easterly, blowing at around a four. And I think eastern parts of England, we're looking at southeasterlies here, blowing at a three. However, big question marks on Sunday, so do keep a very careful eye on the uh, forecast for Sunday because where that low is is super critical and then we get into uh, bank holiday Monday and a um, bit of a change taking place the low drifts northwards brings us some showers across western parts of Scotland but more persistent spells of some quite thundery rain then getting into uh, southeastern parts of England as the day progresses so um, again some question marks over this but generally I think we're going to find the eastern channel in a northerly blowing at around a five increasing possibly up to a six now I don't want to really put you off too much in the channel this weekend, but you need to watch that forecast again. Um, I'm just not sure that those are the speeds that's where they're going to be, but fives and sixes look reasonable at the moment. Moderate to poor visibility too. Some thundery bursts of rain. Out towards the east, we're looking sorry, the west, we're looking generally to northerly at a two. Moderate to poor visibility here. Need to watch for fog patches. Variable running up the Irish Sea and for western Scotland at a two or a three here. And I think for eastern coasts of Scotland, eastern coasts of England, and generally coming in an easterly probably around about the four mark but again watch that one very very carefully and reduce visibility uh, across those eastern parts of England as well and then into Tuesday uh, I think for Tuesday probably that north easterly really gets going more down these eastern coasts of the country during the course of Tuesday I think here we're going to be finding speeds of sevens coming onto the coast during Tuesday uh, some heavy thundery bursts of rain as well moderate visibility for eastern parts of England. Through the channel, we're looking at a northwesterly, probably at around a five. Again, watch very carefully how that develops, but we start to get some consistency on going on this northeasterly flow now. And through the Irish Sea, the southern part of the Irish Sea and around southwestern coast, west northwesterly here is at fours. Mid Irish Sea, I think we're going to be looking quite variable, but becoming east to northeasterly at a four. And I think for eastern part, for western parts of Scotland, we're westerlies here at a four. Eastern Scotland. I'm going to go for an east northeasterly at a five. But as I say, that could change. It's a forecast that certainly needs to be watched very, very carefully. Uh, and then for Wednesday, low pressure tracks up towards the north. Just not sure exactly where this is going to be. Looks like the low is over northern England. Strong winds coming through Scotland. North Eastleys here at sevens potentially. Lighter winds further south. South at uh, fours and fives. But I have to say, that forecast chart to me looks pretty unlikely at the moment. I think more likely we stay in the north easterly flow. So, hopefully that has been useful for you. Uh, a reminder about our uh, personalised weather forecast. If you need one, you can book it by email uh, by going to sailingweather.co.uk. Also, don't forget there, you've got your area forecasts. Uh, we've got those there for the solids, and we've also got them for the whole of the UK coast. Just click on the forecast you need, and you'll get a forecast uh, down there. Also, you've got all your charts, you've got your video forecast, everything you need at sailingweather.co.uk. And please do spread the words to your uh, marinas, your sailing colleagues and your clubs as well about the service that we are offering. And thanks for your continued support. So I'll leave you with that for now. Whatever you're doing, have a great sailing weekend. Uh, sail safely and keep the sun shining. Bye for now.